A lot of people have been asking how you can add graphics or decals on your 3D shapes here in Photoshop. So today we're going to check out how you can add graphics on 3D inflated text generated with Adobe Firefly. Also, if you want to know how to generate 3D inflated text, I'm going to leave the links in the description. So the first thing we're going to do is write out some text, select the type tool, type in whatever you want. And I'm going to go with the Neue Haas Grotesque. Bold, press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift, scale it up. I'm also going to go and add another rectangle right next to it just to fill up the graphic. I'm also going to go and add some filler font, but this is going to be written in Asian. And I'm going to go and change up the font to Dela Gothic One Republic and just place it there and scale it up. Also, if you want to check out and download my free Asian font collections, I'm going to leave the links in the description with those videos as well. Now I'm going to press and hold shift and select the layers with the text and elements, a right click. Let's go and convert to smart object. I'm going to go and rename it as a text. And now we're going to need to rotate the composition. I'm going to press the letter R for rotate. I'm also going to press and hold shift. So it's going to rotate and lock. I think this is 45 degree angles. Select the text layer, press control T, press and hold shift and rotate. So I'm going to position it somewhere here. And now we're going to go up here to the warp button, click on it and warp it. And let's go to the warp settings and change it to arch. And now we're going to go down here and pull this diamond into the opposite direction until it's going to bend parallel with this curve. So the curve on the text is going to be the same curvature as the letter S. So it's going to be something like this. I think it fits perfectly as well. Now let's go up here and click on the check mark, press control T again, press and hold control. And I'm going to pull this corner until it's going to fit in here. And I also going to modify the right corner. So I'm going to try to put this in perspective as much as possible. I think this way it looks pretty good. I'm going to position it like this, double click release. Now I'm going to go and press the letter R again, press and hold shift and rotate back how it was before. Now I'm going to need to remove the unnecessary parts of the letter here. So what we're going to need to do here is go and mask the text layer. Let's go and select the brush tool. Make sure that you're on the black. The black is on the top. And we're going to go and decrease the opacity somewhere around 50%. So it's going to be somewhat transparent. And all you need to do is just remove these areas. So we're going to put the text under the inflation. I'm going to speed the process up. There you go. And now remove the rest like that. Now we're going to increase the opacity back to 100%. So that is how you arrange it in perspective. But as you can see, the text doesn't have any shading on it. So it doesn't look natural on it. So what we're going to need to do is double click on the text layer. And we're going to go here to the underlying layer. And all you need to do is bring these handles. For example, I'm going to bring the right handle to the left. And I'm going to press and hold Alt and click on the handle. So this way the handle is going to break in two pieces. I'm going to bring the right handle on the right side a little bit to smoothen things out and then also bring the left handle on the left to make it more light. And I'm going to do the same thing with the opposite direction with the left handle, bring it, press and hold Alt, break it. And let's see what we got here. Something like this. Click OK. And this is how I add graphics and details on 3D forms here in Photoshop. 